Ow. <sighs> Putting my books under me to break the fall didn't help at all. <sighs> this place... Where are we? Oh yeah, are we in, in a domain or actually in a place? Uh, I'm gonna feel that in the morning. Uh, hey, Shinobu, traveler, and my savior. Is everyone okay? <sighs> well, this is an unfortunate turn of events. Hey, so, uh, how far down did we fall? Hmm. It seems the ground collapsed during our little confrontation up there. Perhaps because we triggered the elemental forces. Well, don't look at me. If you weren't so rude, maybe I wouldn't have gotten mad. <sighs> Who can put up with that kind of dude? It's my duty to stop intruders from breaking into important places. If telling the truth sounds rude, then I'm afraid you're just a little too fragile. Hey, life's too short to give in all the time. Boss, I'm afraid you're not going to win this argument. I suggest we stop provoking her. Hey, whose side are you on here? On my side. I'm simply pointing out the facts. I understand how you feel, but you're making my life difficult by starting random fights with everyone. <laughs> Looks like Ito can't argue against either Yeon or Shinobu. He's in a real tough spot now. Yeah, but the difference is that Paimon kind of is, uh, you got used to it because you can... I better not say nothing. Hey! What do you mean? Don't you dare compare Paimon to Ito! Whoa, whoa! What do you mean? Compared to you two, you're the least annoying. Paimon was just saying how it is! Everyone knows you're a bit of an idiot! You are. You calling me an idiot? Oh yeah? Well, you're a... A puny little flying lavender melon, ha! Flying lavender melon? Oh, that's it! Paimon's mad! Time to give you an ugly nickname! Uh, Bull Chucker! Mm. You better mind your manners, Bull Chucker! We seem to be a long way down from where we fell. It's impossible to see what's going on up above. Oh, I was hoping that they're gonna keep arguing in the background. Man, he really, I don't know what, I mean, so hard to say, eh, neutral, but when Ita just came in, uh, I have to deal with him. <sighs> it's unlikely we'll be able to climb back up that far. We'll need to find another way. I'm sorry to interrupt your lovely little chat here, but I think there's something you may need to know. The chasm is regarded as a mysterious area in Liyue. It was sealed off for years due to a mining accident. Whatever goes on down here, I suggest you remember this. You didn't see anything, you didn't hear anything, and you're not gonna ask any questions. Save you from getting caught up in things you shouldn't know about. I won't treat you as hostiles, and in exchange, I hope you won't make things difficult when it comes to keeping secrets. I'll do what I can to find a way out. Huh? Well, where does she think she's going? Like she said, to search for an exit. Chances are that Yelan is the best among us at survival and handling emergencies. We should just let her go. I'm afraid I must apologize. I don't typically disclose details of a client's will to third parties, which is why I couldn't tell you the truth. I'm sorry. I came to the chasm in search of the Fantastic Compass, which is mentioned in the will. Many years ago, my client gave this magical device to someone ambitious, hoping that it'd be handy in times of need. According to an eyewitness account, the person who received the device took it into the chasm and has been missing ever since. Throughout history, many wars have been fought in the vicinity of the chasm. Even if that person died in one of the wars, I still wish to do my utmost and find the device and fulfill the client's wish. Yelan's words of caution were not unwarranted, there are dangers lurking in the chasm. I'm sure you've all realized that by now. Given that we're all caught in this mess, let's try to find a way out together. Whatever you say, my savior, I'll do whatever you ask. From now on, we're a team, all of us. And as for that big jerk, well, 
Mm. Wait, John, buy my gun. Yeah. Again. You were supposed to take him seriously like a bank leader, bike leader, but again, he's a goofball. A joke. How am I, how am I supposed to pull for him? What, although I want the cookie only. You said Yeon works for the Ministry of Civil Affairs, huh? Paimon can tell she's tougher than most, but... Wow. Her job sounds demanding! Well, that's what she tells outsiders. I can't disclose too much about her identity, but I'd say she's the only person who can handle this type of work. What kind of lame job would have someone go out to the middle of nowhere? Oh, Paimon knows! An adventurer! Hey, what's with the face? Oh, did Paimon say something wrong? That's literally what the two of us do, isn't it? Uh, you're so stingy these days! Oh, just let Paimon be an adventurer by association, okay? Yeah, she's got a point, Traveler. You're Paimon's boss. Take it from me, as a great leader, you should learn to be a little more generous. You know, let your sidekick share some of the glory. Ugh, you really don't understand anything about us. Paimon, don't take him too seriously. He's just joking. He's a joke. Ugh. For the sake of Shinobu, fine. <laughs> I'm the boss, so I'll let it slide. Hmm. Perhaps this was another sealed location, but an undocumented one. What could be in here? I've got some food and water on me. If anyone needs some, just let me know. How? You don't have a back. At least, yeah, I can kind of say, but... Okay, I guess this is, you know, game logic. I think in, uh, sometimes they actually put a little effort. Like, for example, in one of the thrillers, Okay, I know that is different, but those small, small details that can really make a change. But I guess I'm gonna pass this. Great! You know, Bull Checker, you may not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but your subordinate here seems super capable and reliable. <laughs> I know. Isn't she the best? What? Hey, I am too a sharp tool! There seems to be an entrance up ahead with a path inside. Wonder where it leads to? Well... Let's go take a look. Who would have guessed we'd find a domain entrance in a place like this? If there's a way in, then there's a way out. Let's go and take a look. The rocks here seem to be old Liyue mountain rocks. They're similar to what I've seen in books. This domain must have existed for quite some time now. <laughs> What's that sound? <sighs> ah! Oh! It's Xiao! Conqueror of Demons? What are you doing here? Oh, uh, I came down from above. Uh, I heard a noise, so I followed it here. So you're not here by accident. Hmm. Wanna team up? No, I have something else to do. I'm looking for someone. You shouldn't be here. I would urge you to go back as soon as possible. Disappears without a trace. Huh. That guy looked pretty tough. Maybe almost as tough as me. Seems like a solid dude. Seriously, Bull Checker? Where do you get your confidence from? Should we really be letting him go off on his own? Oh, he wouldn't listen no matter how much you tried to talk him out of it. He is super tough, though, so don't worry about him. 
Everyone, keep your eyes and ears peeled from here on out. We don't know what lies ahead, so we have to be ready for anything. Oh, look, I'm happy to say we're all on the same team and everything, but uh, could you cut the little speeches and the whole follow the leader act? I, for one, think I should be able to look after myself. Boss! Ugh, okay, okay. Besides, Elon is just looking out for everyone. You know, Bullchucker, you're a guest here, so maybe try to get along with everyone. Ha! Please, you're not a local either, Flying Lavender Melon. So stop trying to sound like one. Labyrinths like this are unique to Liyue. Wow. This place is actually pretty cool. If we weren't in such a hurry to get out, we could kick back and enjoy the scenery a little. Solidify! Let the show be... Spirit please! Attack! <laughs> Remind Paimon of the Adeptai domains we've been to before. Could there be an Adeptus here? Stabilize! <laughs> You're in for a little shock. <laughs> A touch of frost. I will have order. <laughs> Let's dance. Swift and merciful. <laughs> From whence you came. Come on, we can do it. One with my play. Order guide you. Spirit play. Attack. You're in for a little shock. Well... <laughs> 
huh? Wait, this ain't right. Uh, how did we end up back here? So we've been here already? Yes, this is exactly where we started. But we couldn't have taken a wrong turn. We were headed in the same direction the entire time. We never turned around. Yes, um, actually, we that's did what them. I thought too. Traveler, we were going the right way, weren't we? I didn't keep up, but consider this is a depth test. Uh, I'd not be surprised. How strange. There's a legend in Inazuma about a merchant who was tricked by a Bake Danuki one evening and kept circling around the same place the whole night. Even by dawn, they still hadn't found a way out. Yeah, Paimon's heard that one before too. So we're all familiar with the story then? Good, because I'm pretty sure that's what's happening to us right now. But fear not, I happen to have a certain sidekick who can exercise yokai and spirits and whatnot. Let me summon him real quick. Huh? Unbelievable. Yep. An Oni who's friends with an exorcist? Huh. What an open-minded guy. He told his friend. Although he said him, not she. And yeah, I kind of know that Cookie was a sly maiden, but... For the boss, ignorance is a virtue. You're up, Ushi. Go get the spirit. Oh. Him? This thing is an exorcist? Okay. I kind of know his name because I was curious if he actually has a name, but... This is something about the companion animals for the character. I mean... With Goba was kind of reverence, and I'm surprised they actually don't try to put in more scenes. But I guess now this is a thing now. This is Ushi, an auxiliary member of the Arataki gang. Okay, that where he was already. You actually summoned him? <laughs> oh, Ushi says hello, everyone. You can just call him Ushi or Beefcake. Yeah, he's got a keen sense of direction, so I'll let him lead the way. <laughs> I didn't know gangs could have auxiliary members. This does not have the trappings of something that's gonna work. <laughs> You're telling me. All right, go, Ushi. Go find us a way out of here. Yeah. What's that? Oh, really? Oh, no way. What's wrong? Ushi says he searched everywhere, but there's no exit. That doesn't add up. If we were able to come in, then there must be a way to get out. Here, let me take another look. Has anyone else noticed this? We initially thought we fell here from above. At that time, there was a way out high overhead. But now... It seems even that exit has disappeared. Inexplicable, if you ask me. It seems there's more than meets the eye with these underground structures. Hmm. I'm gonna take another look around. Everywhere we look, there are just more and more rocks. Uh, maybe we've just misremembered. Maybe this isn't the place we started from. What? You scared now? N no. I'm on super brave. Oh, yeah? Well, uh, Ushi also thinks you're scared. It's okay. Don't be scared to admit you're, uh, <laughs> scared. You've got us here to protect you. We can't just sit here twiddling our thumbs. Let's keep looking for a way out. Shinobu, you stay here with my precious savior. I'll take the traveler and Paimon with me. Got it. Be careful, everyone. Please, there's no need to keep calling me savior, just Yanfei is fine. Mr. Arataki, it seems that as the head of the Arataki gang, you possess a strong sense of leadership. Okay, that's all ah, right. Too kind, too kind. And just call me Ito. Since we're a team now, we should have each other's backs. Uh, Paimon, if you feel scared again, I can cover your eyes for you. Ah. <sighs> 
there's really no way out. Uh, I can't shake the feeling that there's something off about this place. Boss, did you guys find anything over there? Not only that, I could have sworn I saw some shadows moving a second ago. <sighs> this place better not be haunted. Probably not the right time to ask this, but Paimon just can't help it. Ito, you're an Oni. Doesn't that kind of mean everywhere you go is haunted? Uh, no, ignore the red horns, okay? I I'm talking about spooky, floaty ghosts. Now you see them, now you don't kind of haunted. Uh, Ito, are you afraid of ghosts? Oh no, boss. You've been found out. What? Me? <laughs> no way! What? Are you kidding? <laughs> Stop choking around. Uh. Seriously, though. <laughs> Looking at you, Paimon suddenly doesn't feel scared anymore. Hey, Bullchucker, if you're scared, Paimon can cover your eyes for you. Ugh. Maybe I should make better use of my time. Add a little salt and some pepper. Yeah, roasted lavender melon is delicious. You can try some when it's done. Oh right, there are two types, sweet and savory. Which would you prefer? All right, you can try them both then. It's important that we remain calm, especially when we're in the throes of a tough situation like this. Say, so I want just to look at her closer. Man, they're eating lazy on the mask, like. She is like uh, adopted a cat uh, aesthetic. If I'm reading the situation correctly, there seems to be some secret here that the boss and I are not supposed to know about. But don't worry, I'll distract the boss while you discuss things with the others. Oh, I thought I smelled something cooking. Would you like some, Yunfei? Thank you, but I'm not hungry. You guys go ahead. Oh, and by the way, I haven't seen you in a while, Shinobu. Yeah, it has been a while, hasn't it? The last time I saw you was when you taught one of my classes as a substitute while I was studying in Liyue. Substitute teacher? Ah, yes, now I remember. It was during winter, wasn't it? Yes, I remember everyone said your lecture was very interesting. Now that I think about it, I should call you Senpai. Ooh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> <sighs> Who would have ever guessed that we'd get caught up in such a dilemma together? It must be fate. Not only that, she's funny and engaging while she speaks. Needless to say, she's very popular among the students. <laughs> oh, I'm flattered. <sighs> I see everyone is still here. Yelon. We split in a group and searched the area, but there are no signs of any way out. How about you? Did you manage to find anything? I want to point out that... Mo, what was she name? Was she just vibing here? No. Actually, now we can actually call ourselves the Scooby-Doo Geno, because now we actually have some kind of pet aside from Paimon. And, though I'd prefer not to say it, we'd better mentally prepare ourselves. If we can't find a way out, we may be stuck underground for some time. <sighs> I think you might be right. I understand. Hmm. An underground space with an entrance but no exit. It just doesn't make any sense. I'll figure something out. Just give me some time. If anyone happens to find a potential exit, please be sure to take every precaution before exploring further. Hey, 
Traveler? What's with the serious face? Do you have a plan? Yeah. Oh, right! Do you want to get in to help us? Sure! Let's give it a shot! Really? Really? Oh, yeah. You are a billion... You actually have, like... Wh how many games are actually gonna really soon? And you still can have the budget to actually have the character attack. Huh. Huh. No response. Paimon thought Shell would come no matter where we are. Oh no, does that mean even Shell can't sense our presence here? Oh, happy, happy, happy. I get my revenge on him. Okay, I have my fun with the photo man. That's it. I want to take another look. And this time, I, Arataki, the one and only, will... Boss! Whoa, whoa, what's up, Sourpuss? Time for some roasted lavender melon. Huh? We're trapped in a life-and-death situation underground, and you're telling me it's time for roasted lavender melon? <coughs> Interesting. You hear that? Ushi says you're completely right. Wait, hold on. Whose side are you on, Beefcake? <coughs> it's important to stay replenished. We must keep our energy and morale up in preparation for facing the unknown. Even Ushi knows that. Fine, you two are... Hey, are you already eating? Well, hold on, is it still warm? Oh, oh, oh that does smell good. Mm. Fine, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just... We'll have a quick snack and then we'll, uh, and then we'll keep looking for a way out. Hey, don't eat them all, leave a couple for me! could have ever guessed we'd get trapped in a place like this. It's quite the predicament. For all the studying I've done in my life, all I know is how to land people in prison. I don't know the first thing about breaking out of one. I've even made a contract with my father to live a happy life. I can't give up hope now. Try and stay positive. At least I've explored a new place and seen more of the world while reuniting with some old friends. <laughs> Yeah, there's still a silver lining, I guess. Swift and merciful. Our situation is grim. There doesn't appear to be a way out for now. We should be prepared to stay for a while. Fortunately, we don't seem to lack supplies, and even our motley crew has people who can keep their cool when the stakes are high. Just focus on taking care of yourselves. I'll figure out the rest. Huh? Wait a minute. Wait, we actually find a way out? It is uh, any signs. Oh, this thing. So, are we actually trapped here? something I want to try out. Where are we?
Ah, Taylor, for this, we can actually. I guess we're gonna do this and be done for this episode. <laughs>